quick bit of continue because we have completed this for your series today. Let me start with a capacitor filter too. So for a capacitor filter, what was the expression? This was, when you see the output here, from A to B if you separately write here, it was like this, from A to B. Then it goes to C, D. So it is something like a triangular. Is it it? It's just like a triangle. Just make a note that it is like a triangular wave. So when it is something like a triangular wave, then the charge across the capacitor, you know dq by dt is the current. So the charge can be integral dq by dt is i of t. So if you want the dq, it is the current as a function of time t into dt. For a small interval, this is t. So you can write this as nothing but the current through this can be written as the DC current and time during which the current is flowing through the capacitor. So with this relation, with this relation, the voltage can be written as that is the peak to peak voltage can be written as uh, C is equal to QB, I think you know this relation. So, uh, the voltage developed can be written as DQ by C, which is equal to I DC into T by, what is this C? The capacitance value. Now, what I want is voltage. So, this can be written as voltage is, now how are you connecting this? This is your rectifier circuit. Now it is a capacitor. So, capacitor here it is in a shunt, and this is your RL. This is your capacitor. So, voltage drop across the current. This is the current. So, IDC into T by RL. So, this IDC can be written as voltage drop. Where is the voltage drop? Voltage is dropped across. Resistance. So current flowing through this is IDC. <coughs> the voltage is given by VDC by RL into T by C. So now once again, the RMS value can be written as what is the RMS value? The peak value divided by root. The peak value by root. This relation you know. Now, we have seen that the voltage across the capacitor was triangular. So, R in this voltage of this triangular voltage can be given by Vp by 2 3. It is not simply Vp by root 2 as was the case for sine and cosine. Since it is triangular, this is given by this relation. Therefore, your RMS value, these are to be taken for granted thus we are not doing the derivation for this. This we will see in the later classes. So, for the present you take this is by definition you already know, but this definition is modified for a triangular way like this. So take it for granted, then it will be VDC by 
uh, what am i getting vdc by okay uh, two root three two root three this is x of c there is a print mistake in your textbook correct it it is x c so this x c also both of them are in parallel to each other so when you simplify what you are getting is uh, x c what is x c 1 by 2 pi f c isn't it so voltage is across x c so it will be v d c by 2 root 3 by f c and hence your ripple factor is given by v r m s by v d c and when you simplify it is 2 root 3 f of c r l uh, for a half a rectifier and that is equal to 1 by 4 root 3 f of c r l for a full wave this is for half a this is for full